Taurus's love life. One more. All right, Taurus, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups reversed. So some situation, if you're single specifically, or going through a separation this week at least, the, uh, there's not going to be any sort of reconciliation. But in your past, you have, first of all, let's look at these. We have your energy. We have wands. This is Aries, Aries. You very likely could be dealing with either an air sign or a fire sign. Uh, we have the Emperor. This is the card of Aries. So in your past, there may have been a very substantial, uh, powerful leader type person. It could be a fire sign. This could also be you ener your energy in terms of work being very motivated and dedicated to your, your life goals. Or putting forth a lot of energy to get a relationship or your love life into a certain place. It seems to be moving in a direction, not necessarily a good direction, but it's it's moving. We have the hanged man reversed in your primary position. So this talks about the waiting period is over. So it could be waiting, you could have been waiting for this relationship to end or waiting for some message uh, to give you some sort of sign that it's going to either reconcile or not reconcile. It seems like this week you get your answer and uh, you seem to be okay with that. In your challenger benefit position, again, we have the queen of wands and a, a fire sign. So they could be very challenging type of personality for you to deal with. We have this air energy. This could be this fire energy also because fire energies, they can get very emotional and very forceful with their messages and with their actions and it can be especially for an earth energy it can be kind of a lot to handle so that's what this card is talking about somebody's being very forceful and very direct and like wow, swooping in and trying to fix something and they may fix something it doesn't mean the relationship is back on track by any means but you might be in at least a good emotional place with them because we have the tower card reversed so it's not fully broken down yet but or maybe it did break down and you're okay with it and you're not going to try to rebuild it that could also be the message for you Taurus especially if you're just single and dating it's almost as if you kind of got you know we're getting rid of someone because they are driving you nuts and it seems like you cut communication off we have in your future at least with this person we have the Eight of Wands reversed, so there's no communication. So someone could have been blocked or something like that in terms of text messages. You're not, definitely not wanting to move this relationship forward, Taurus. If you're in a committed bond, someone's being forceful with trying to fix this relationship or force some sort of outcome or force a communication. It's driving you nuts, so you're kind of shutting that down right now. But and you're not really ready to rebuild it or reconnect at this time, but that could be coming. You know, these energies take a while to sift out, don't they? And so you're not communicating and be, and you're not really feeling them. Okay. You may realize that this isn't a person you want to be with and that's it. It seems like you've kind of made your decision at least this week, putting things on hold. They're, they're not putting things on hold, but you are. What they're doing is they're saying, okay, you are, uh, maybe you're just working. They're thinking that maybe you're just putting your head down and work. It's almost as if they kind of have no idea that they're driving you nuts and they just really are in this belief state that you're just working. On another note, they could just be working. They could be, they could have tried a whole bunch of things to get your attention. They could have tried a whole bunch of things to communicate with you but you're not, and so they just go back to work. They're like, okay, I'll just calm down, I'll settle down, I'll just start focusing on work, and then we'll just see what happens. In your hopes and fears, Taurus, we have the Two of Pentacles, so it's almost as if 
either juggling too much or afraid of juggling too much or I'm sensing more so that they were too much and it scared you. It scared the relationship. You're not really wanting to make move forward. You're really not. We have the Two of Cups reversed and the Lover's card reversed this week. So you're not really ready to have a conversation. You're not ready to work things out. They were driving you nuts and that's it. You're just, you're kind of not dealing with them right now. Even if you're in a committed bond, you, you're not, you're not really wanting to deal with them right now. Okay, what are the high level messages for Taurus this week of July 23rd? High level messages for Taurus. High level messages for Taurus for the week of July 23rd. High level messages for Taurus. Where I can't do one video without them barking. Yeah. Yep. Yep. At the bottom of the deck, we have temperance reversed. Emotions are running high. Tension is running high in you, in them. There's there's a break or there's a third party situation. There could be they could be going into solitude and just working. You could be going into solitude and just working. You're cutting. You've cut communication and uh, you're not waiting for the ships to come in. It's almost as if, this is a very singles oriented reading and I'm sorry as couples if you're, if you're in a relationship and you're cross watching, but um, somebody's driving somebody nuts and they're, call, they're calling it, they're calling it and there's no real hope for the future, at least this week, okay? Remember, this is just a weekly reading, so don't get too worried, but they're, they're, uh, you, Taurus, or your partner is just, if you're in a relationship, it's just, it's not going well. So stuff needs to be worked on, but you're not wanting to work on it. And that's okay. Give it time. Sometimes these things really need time to just let the sand sift out and settle down. So 